So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to. But if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. This is it, all right. Though, it's a far cry from the school I remember. Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye, like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... You could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the Decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications, like you and Miura-kun. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. The other threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the Inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So this... Inner Lossiter? It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. 
it'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Mm, Loki now. Still no sign of him. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. He told me to wait until noon. But I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here. So I'm not supposed to go outside, but... Come on, Takatoshi. You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. So basically... You mean... But then that means the dream uh. is... Huh? The student's duty should be to focus so on their studies. You this mean? kind of hanky panky but has no place here. Is... Really? <sighs> Not that that girl wasn't cute, so I suppose, but you clearly mean... she has no eye for men. But then that means the dream is. Really? So basically. You mean. But then that means the dream is. Super is, though. You think so? <sighs> Did you see him? That boy was so cool! Was he? Does he even go to our school, though? Oh, please. There. That has to be... I can't let myself get spotted now. Okino would probably never let me hear the end of it. I should look somewhere else for Okino. That's... You the one? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? Um... I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kizaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. What? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! He don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? 
What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun. This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... of course not. I'm sorry for hitting him. You can like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Ninji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. Destroyers. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. Sentinel. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them, and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game-changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There. We've got a clue. But... I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So... Where does that leave us? <sighs> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Okino, what's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. And I have to say, it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the...? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop! Wow. 
This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged! If I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now... Where is Okino? Okino. There you go. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? I see you made a friend. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. I just gave it a little food. Now it shows up here all the time, so... I ended up bringing food for it, every day. I suppose I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Oh, Okino, are you still trying to look after me? Isn't she... My Yakisoba Pun Angel? Uh. She doesn't recognize me. Then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait. If she's a student here, then... That means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that Yakisoba pond! There it is. She's almost missed out. They only had two left. Just one left. Your finest Yakisoba pond, please! No doubt about it. This is the same Yaki Soba Pond from back then. It's too much. So hungry. 
I've got no strength left. I can't go on like this. I'll starve to death. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <clears throat> what am I thinking? I am an Imperial soldier. The pride of the Empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? Uh, oh... Uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... <laughs> I know. <clears throat> What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yaki soba pun? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I. I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki soba pun. <laughs> <laughs> How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> I wanted to savor the taste, but I practically inhaled that whole piece. Now that I think about it, I never even got to thank her. My yakisoba pun angel. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now, time to finally enjoy my... Uh... Uh... Do you... want half of this yakisoba pan? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food, anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Good grief. You're still going to keep trying, then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? 
there's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it, or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks, help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pun. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet, that's all. Wow, can't argue with that logic. Huh? Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? She's the girl who saved me. She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel. Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite, uh... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yaki soap upon Angel. Why? that maybe you've got a point I should slow down and think a little all right I get it hmm? just don't move from here not one step don't move I saw that person trying to order me around in the capsule I only caught a flash but it's that guy hanging out with Fuyusaka so the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the kaiju? Do I even believe this crazy shit? Why should I trust that shady egghead? Doesn't matter if we run. We never make it out in time. We only got a couple minutes until they ruin this place. Even if I told someone about this, nobody would believe me. Weird that weird voice. It's gotta be him. I wanna ask you something. If you knew the world was gonna end in a couple of minutes, how would you spend them? Uh, where's all this coming from? I just wanna know how you feel. Wow. A few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Well, uh, I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So I guess I'd spend them with you. <laughs> I'll just be a second. I just need you to wait here for me. That okay? <sighs> Fine. Ogata-kun! What's wrong? Out of my way. Weird voice. That weird voice. That has to be him. Okino, you're the one. I saw you, you asshole. Oh, what are you talking about? Drop the act. How'd you put me in that capsule? Why do you keep putting me back here? I really have no idea what you're saying. Bullshit, you don't! We got two ways to do this, kid. 
Either you talk, or I make you talk. I... uh... You think you can run?! You know, you asshole. What's going on here? Can he see me? I'm on to you, bastard. Get me out of this capsule thing. Capsule? Did he figure it out? What's our next move? Wait, you're the... <sighs> now I remember. Hijiyama. You came out of nowhere with that sucker punch. I gave you plenty of warning. Don't act like I pulled some low-down trick. It's not my fault if you can't take a punch. You... son of a... <sighs> well, he's awake. What do we do now? Don't worry about it. We're not done yet. Where am I? What's going on here? You don't have to know. You're going right back in. Okino. You said you'd help us, right? Then you gotta do something before the attack hits. Can't you save any of the others? An attack? Wait, you mean... Those things are the true foes of the Sentinels? Exactly. What I need to find is the reason for the attack. So now we're here. Trying to find the key that controls the D-forces. One person's commanding these Kaiju to come here, right? One out of these 15 people? So you knew. Yes. 15 children's lives were manipulated so that they would destroy the world. They broadcast command signals from their body, even if they don't want to, or don't even know. Those signals create the kaiju, and then beckon them here. Like the old guy was saying. So, are there lots of keys? No, just one. Out of all 15, only one has the key that controls them. That League of Darkness lady said something about this. She said I was the one who had the key first. But I don't know anything about that. I don't remember anything anyway. Of course you don't. The control key is a code for a program. You're one of those 15 people. Up until two months ago, the commands were coming from you. Seriously? It was me? It used to be. Now, though? Well, from what I hear, that had already changed by the time we caught you. Now, another person's got the key. And they're the ones sending out the signal to start an apocalypse. Okay, so... this key's actually a program. How do you even look for something like that? Well, to you, it'll look like a standard metal key. At least, within that station. What do you mean? I need to see who got the control key after you. The idea was to just pull the data out of you. But whatever happened is really bound up in your personal memories. Which means you're the only one who can dig that information out. That's why you're in the chair, and I'm on the tech side. I'm making it so you can find that key for me. Hold on a sec. You're telling me that whole station's... You've been in this chair this whole time. That station... is an illusion created from your memories. You gotta be kidding. I see now. That's how you broke out of the simulation. Even I'm there at the station. 
You piggybacked on my access ID. I guess that'd get you clear of control. Well, I can fix that right now. Okay, now we're all on the same page. So, let's jump back in. Uh, hey, hold on! Don't squirm. Trust me, you don't want that tech coming off by force. You might never wake up. <sighs> Find the key. My apologies for hitting you. But you need to take this seriously. If you want to be free, help us. That's your only option. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? <sighs> You gotta be kidding me. So all of this? It's all some big dream in my head? This Kisaragi, and that Fuyusaka, and Wajima, none of them are real? So this key is a program that's calling the kaiju out. Except I'm just gonna see it as a normal ass key, I guess. That was weird. Why did I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the Kaiju? If he's right, I'm one of those people too. You're not the real Kisaragi. You're just some ghost of her in my brain. What are you talking about? Is your head okay? Did you eat something bad? Don't even talk to me. What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Hey, could you not ignore me? Ogata-kun. I guess that means she came from my head, too? Huh? I don't really know Fuyusaka that well. So maybe that's it? I just got her mixed up with the school nurse? Hey, Fuyusaka. Where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy meeting you I here. Usami-chan! Said he was gonna fix it. Eora, your is place isn't meant. this way, right? Where are you going? <laughs> I've just got a thing over. Karabe. Looks like he got himself out. But where the hell does that leave me? If Okino's not here... I can't chase after him to get out of here. Hey, it's you. If I remember right, you don't take the train to school, do you? Guess I don't, but who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. So, you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. <laughs> now that's weird. Last I heard, you were way into that shit. <laughs> well, what a shame. Looks like my train's here. Which means this conversation is over. What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross... I don't think so. Hey! That's the wrong train! <laughs> S 
So you followed me. Why'd you run? Huh? You're on the wrong train, Nenji Ogata. Doesn't matter which one I take. Same damn thing happens anyway. I always get taken out by the kaiju. Yeah, that about sums it up. You're not Karabe. <sighs> well, that's just embarrassing. I really need to hide my tracks better. I've been getting sloppy. Never figured you'd come looking to take it back. Who the hell are you? Uh, he disappeared. That's Minami behind you. And look what she's got. I don't know how I know, but that's the key. Gotta be. Do you know anything about what kind of code this is? Do you even know what you've been looking for? I finally found it. It's her. Minami's the one with the key. I know the key's a program that controls the kaiju. And now I know Natsuno Minami's got it. If you know that, then why are you on their side? You think you know what they're gonna do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her. Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? I don't even know who you are. I'm Juro Izumi. A version of Juro Karabe from another world. What the hell? I've come to save you. That's why I'm here. To protect her control key. Fine. Trust me or don't. I don't care. Just forget about finding the key. I can't do that. That key's gonna destroy the world, right? If you let me handle this, you won't regret it. But if they found out that Natsuno Minami has the key... You think they'd be nice about getting it out of her? <sighs> Got a point. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. They might break her. Leave her like Ryoko Shinonome. Or they might just kill her. She's a pawn in their game. Just another sacrifice. <sighs> think this. Through. Report. Did you find it? No. I analyzed the station you're seeing. Basically, it's a visual representation of a kind of database. It kind of got tangled with your memories, so not everyone there will be relevant. But at least one of them has accessed the decode. You just need to find out who. Say I find this person with the key, right? What are you gonna do to him? Do you even need to ask? I'm going to cut off the D-Force's appearance. Once I control the commander, I control the kaiju. If that's impossible, I'll just destroy the control key. <sighs> Don't worry. You'll be free to go. Alright. I didn't say this before, but... This is an inherently risky process. The more loops we do, the more stress your brain gets put under. If you don't find it soon, I can't promise you'll survive. Am I clear? You need to investigate the people on that platform closely. Let's run it again. What the hell am I supposed to do? I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? 
What the hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Minami's got the key. But if I let Okino know, I'd be throwing her under the bus. <sighs> that Izumi guy. He said he'd handle it. Can I even trust him? Gotta be kidding me. So all of this? It's all some big dream in my... This Kisaragi. None of them are... So the one who has the key... They're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to. Never thought Minami would have it. So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the kaiju? If he's right, I'm one of those people too. So that guy Izumi, he's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true, that League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, she did something to my key. I remember now. She said something about the Sentinels. Probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. I want to ask you something. If you knew the world was going to end in a couple of minutes, how would you spend them? Uh, where's all this coming from? I just want to know how you feel. Well, a few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Well, uh... I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So I guess I'd spend them with you. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't, I didn't cross a line, did I? Hey, could you not ignore me? Got here. Ogata, most uh, same dumbass look. This asshole looks as real as he ever did. The hell are you muttering about? Hey, I think it's about time we settled our shit. Uh, what's your problem? Forgot how to talk, dumbass. Or maybe you just never had the balls to fight, coward. Oh, it's too late to apologize now. Hey! Stop it, you guys! Who the hell are you? Stay out of this! <laughs> Ain't that the saddest shit? Gotta have your girl rescue you. Move it! Listen up. No more warnings. If you ever talk shit on Kurihai again, you know what's gonna happen. Let's go. I remember now. This place. It's what I remember from that day. Are you okay? She was here too. We had a big fight. Ended up splitting off. Look, fighting wasn't gonna prove anything. Those guys aren't worth your time, okay? Damn it. Already 520. Third train is already gone. They're gonna show up any second now. <laughs> Wasted too much damn time. <sighs> Messed that up. 
Report. Now this time, from the looks of things... So put me back. That's how this goes, right? You realize your life is at stake here. I suggest you take this seriously. Yeah, I know. When you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? What the hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Okino's not here. Okay, the first train's gonna be Fuyusaka and... Karabe. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most... You heard wrong. You think I'd sneak around talking shit behind your backs? If I got something to say, I say it to your face. Or just punch you. What the hell? If I'm lying here, then I'll let you take a free swing at me. All I want to know is who you heard that rumor from. Well, uh, that'd be... Hey, who the hell was it? Th that's gotta be Teru. No, man, you're the one who said it. It wasn't me, man! Let me know when you figure it out. Hey. Huh? Oh, Ogata-kun. <sighs> That's weird. Seems like plain old Karabe again. Actually, this is pretty good timing. Someone was just looking for you. They asked me to give you this. Here you go. Who's this from? Izumi, I think he said. <sighs> well, that's my train. I'd better go. Tsutsuji bound Semi Express, departing at 512, first car. Who is this guy? What's his angle? Let's see, the 512. That's the third train. The one Kizaragi gets on. In the first car. That one stops over at the end of the platform. Hey, could you not ignore me? Hey, could you not ig here so I'm gonna go hmm. you're from 1c hey <laughs> you even listening jeez if I get on the train now is it even gonna change anything
Oh, something popped up. Now you're messing with me too? You're from Minami's class. You another of Okino's goons? Okino? I don't know who that is. Then why are you here? I was told to come here so I could save Nenji Ogata. You're here to save me? But Nenji Ogata's right here. So, why are you appearing on this screen? That's like a version of me inside my own head. So, I just need to pull this thing off your head? Hey, hey, don't do that! They said if it gets forced off, I might never wake up again. Jeez. Call the police, I guess? My contact wants to keep this discreet. Okay, then call your contact. Get them to do something. Well, he's a cat, so... his options are limited. He's a what? He's a talking cat who's here to save the world. What the shit are you talking about? Look, do you see any kind of... I don't know, a power button? None here. Well, what do you see? A button that says, reinitialize. Okay, don't touch that. Probably dumps me back at the station. Something here about a restriction? Maybe that's it. You think you can turn that restriction off? I can try. How's it looking? Hold on. Still checking. <sighs> Hey, you talked about saving the world. You mean from the kaiju, right? Right. So, all that stuff I saw on the train, it really could happen. If you could fight back, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Then, I'll cast a spell on you. What the? Some kind of robot? Really? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now try pressing that reinitialize thing. <laughs> 